All right, Dr. Eric back with our week three of the workout of the week of 52 workouts. So we're on our way. I'm not sure about you, but I'm already feeling like I'm getting fitter. Um, as usual, we're going to start with our warm up and cool down. So again, five to 10 minutes, make sure you're getting that heart rate up. You're then going to do your structuralized mobility in between. So again, if you're a patient of ours, you're doing the uh, foam rolling, stretching, making sure everything works out well. If you don't feel like you're ready for this, please, number one, don't do it. If you feel like you got to uh, you know, give somebody a call to help you out as far as if you should do it, give us a call. Uh, or your doctor, but uh, today's workout's pretty cool. It's two pieces. Number one is the actual meats of the workout itself, which is again, back to three rounds. So we're doing three cycles of 40, 30, 20, 10, 40 reps, 30 reps, 20 reps, 10 reps, and then two rounds of just what we call skill work, which we'll talk to you about that in one second. So let's get started here. So the alternate reverse lunge press looks something like this. If you have dumbbells, you can use them. If not, just use the hands, step back and push, step back, and push. So each one counts as one, two, three, so all the way up to 40 on that one. And then we're going to do side planks. Now this one is going to be graded on each side. So we're going to do 30 each side. So hand tight together, good plank, dip, and raise. So back and forth, three, four, five, all the way to 30. The other side, Dutch, one, two, three, again, all the way to 30. Then we're going to quickly get onto our sit-ups, our back. Again, modify as needed. If you can just do crunches, that's fine. If you can do the full sit-up, that's even better. So all the way back, touch, all the way up. I do recommend a little pad behind your little back if you can. And then last one for the workout for this one is going to be the tuck jump. So dip and touch, jump and touch. Ten of those. So this is three cycles, 40, 30, 20, 10, repeat. 40, 30, 20, 10, repeat. Say stop on that stopwatch, and you're good to go. So do me a favor, friend us on Facebook, make sure you're on our, our uh, friends list, post that time on there. The last thing we're gonna do is your skill work. We're gonna do crow pose and bird dog. We're gonna work for 45 seconds each. 45, 45, 45, 45. And the crow is something I'm not very good at, and that's why it's called skill work. I did do well a little while ago, we'll try again. Get a nice firm base. We're going to bring his knees up to the elbow, and hold. And then come down. That's all I could do that one. The next one. That is good. But we're going to work for 45 seconds just to try to get up into that pose. So even if you have to struggle with it, that's fine. The last one's a little bit easier, a bird dog. Again, this one's nice and slow methodical. Squeeze, back down. And the big one on here is getting full extension with that leg, full extension with that arm, back through. 45 seconds, nice and easy, nice and balanced. If you want to throw a skill into it, same side, back and front. That's a little bit more the skill one. Crossing over is a little easy, then back and through. So again, 45 seconds, two rounds, and uh, that's going to be it for week three, and we'll see you back next week.